Hi, it's Tandwa Zami. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Numza Mungane. If you're a regular, thank you so much for dropping back by. But if you're new, why don't you hit the subscribe button and become a part of my family. It's Tandwa Zami. Today we are doing a Q&A as, as you probably can tell by the title of the video. This is just an updated Q&A since the family is growing, growing and growing. So... Let's uh, let's get it started. I don't think the lighting is great because yay, I've been trying to chase the lights, but it is winter, so I'm using my ring lights. Um, I try to find a better spot in the house. Anyway, let me just not bore you with the details. I did send the questions on this phone. This is my daughter's phone. Since I'm filming with my own phone. Okay. I got a breather and water. This is. Where's what's up here? Let me start with IG questions. Where are these questions now? Um, the first question says, what is your favorite thing about content creation? Why the phone you seen? What is your favorite thing about content creation? Ha! Ah. How did I put this phone on mute? Guys. All right. The first question says, what is your favorite thing about content creation? My favorite thing about content creation is actually um, editing. Funny enough, I love editing. I love putting the pieces together. Um, just like re-watching what we did. Obviously, I'm the one that's filming. I've seen it already. But just like reliving the moment by editing it and making it cute, adding the right sounds. Jay, I love editing. We have a love and hate relationship because it is a tedious exercise. It takes time, but I really enjoy it. And another thing that I love about content creation, specifically vlogs and YouTube, is that my kids will always have something to refer back to. Like Hilton is turning one today, it's his birthday. He'll get to see what we did on his first birthday, uh, as well as Uchunya and Usipo say to their birthdays, their milestones when we went on our first trip. It's, it's like creating those memories for my kids and saving them on YouTube and they'll always have it on youtube as long as youtube is still there because once once something is on the internet it's always there so that's what i love the next question any plans to travel abroad love you loads <laughs> abroad i'd love to i would love to travel abroad i'd love to go to thailand i'd love to go to to the uk to europe to the uk sorry but in my life now you guys I can't afford it. <laughs> That's my favorite line. I can't afford it. I don't even think about it because I can't afford it. Get right in South Africa. South Africa. Ah, when you show me abroad, get show like South Africa. I'm coming again. Get say Africa. The whole of Africa. The bank. When you show me going abroad, ah, that's too far fetched for me. I'm not going to be mad, guys. I have three kids to feed. I'm kidding. Anyway, how do you keep the spark alive in your marriage as parents? So if you don't know, we, um, me and my husband have three kids um, together. And our kids are seven, three, and one as of today. Yeah, think about it. It's havoc. How do we keep the spark alive? Because we love each other. Like my husband and I are in love. We are still as in love as we were 13 years ago we are physically attracted to each other so it's it's a no-brainer to be quite honest there's nothing to like think about or plan we sneak out in out of our bedrooms while the kids are sleeping to just spend time together to do whatever that we want to do together we wake up early just to like drink tea or coffee together we stay up late just to have alcohol together get drunk be silly fights laugh and cry um yeah i guess it's just it's, it's it's simple for us we are physically attracted attracted to each other we are in love <laughs> okay i love my husband like i love him more than i did 13 years ago that's just 
how it is my husband loves me i love him so everything else just follows it's much easier and also the fact that my husband is very hands-on with our kids if i'm cooking he's busy he's busy bathing the kids nothing falls on me completely so we are always like there to support one another because we empathize with, with each other so everything just flows guys yeah i think i don't have the the right answer for you it's just the fact that we are physically attracted to each other we are in love <laughs> um one thing about this phone it locks okay it locks next question is are you married so if you've been watching you now you already know i've been married for eight years this year how do you manage your time being a working mom a wife mom to three angels <laughs> i don't know how i do it but i think i think what works for me is the fact that my husband is very supportive he doesn't mind cleaning the house doesn't mind washing dishes it's not a typical man or black man so i think that helps a lot now that we don't have help as well our helper only comes once a week so we just help each other he helps me i help him that's just how the relationship that's how i'm able to balance everything but with content creation and me time and all of those things i suppose it's because i write things down i plan my days i plan each and every like i'll plan like in the morning this is what i'm going to be doing even though i don't say like 9 to 10 11 to 12 that kind of thing but i do plan like okay uh by 12 o'clock i should have done a video or i should have vlogged or i should have edited or i should have gone and done my nails and my lashes or i should have just installed my wig i should have washed my hair i should have spent time with my kids i'm that person i should be sitting and chilling and just catching up on my favorite shows so i really plan out my days even even weekends i really truly plan what i'm going to do on the weekend well in advance so i'm just that person i'm not organized but i like planning my time because after having three kids you learn that you need to prioritize spending time with your kids with your family i've got my husband i've got sipo says we sipo says and i have our own love language junior and i as well hilton is a baby so he just wants to be held he just wants to be with mommy all the time so yeah it's just how um it is i suppose <laughs> I'm done with Instagram questions, I think. Let me see. Oh, some came through my inbox on Instagram. Some people didn't some people didn't like answer here. They sent their questions like this on inbox. I don't know if you guys can see, but anyway. Uh so on inbox, hi, you are a gorgeous, gorgeous hand. <laughs> Thank you um if you don't mind please share your weight loss or your weight loss journey hmm? my weight loss journey is non-existent okay it is non-existent at this point i still work out twice to three times a week that i still do i work out every more every every week three times a week yeah you got what i said right yeah i still train but in terms of my eating this week it has been a mess this week i've just been binge eating because i am pmsing and i like to give myself grace um so yeah at the moment it's non-existent to be quite honest but you know what i fall and i pick myself up every time <laughs> watch the space okay we can go to another question is asking me how i juggle being a mom and and i've answered that it's also on my inbox i'm not gonna um answer that it's already answered um do you see content creation as a potential career or is it just a hobby uh it's a hobby it is a hobby nothing else nothing more huge congratulations oh no 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 this is not a question how do you keep the fire burning congratulations you are doing great um i've answered this I think it's the same question like how do i balance how do we keep the spark it's honestly the same thing we are in love we are physically attracted to one another we love each other's company i think that's how we do it maybe my husband can i can answer it differently but that's how i feel it is um what do you love the most about being a content creator how good do the ads pay what is okay this is a lot of questions in one and i made a mistake of not clicking read more because it's quite a long one i just screenshot 
but she says what do you love the most about being a content creator um like i said i love editing and just putting the pieces together to create a story for me it is my favorite how good the, do the ads pay <laughs> that's a joke my darling ads ads i think i get paid once in three months because i never meet the threshold of a thousand rand in south africa you get paid once you get to a minimum of thousand rand in your adsense account so i usually just get paid every third month because not every month do i get a thousand rand do i meet the the threshold of a thousand rand so it is bad you need to watch the ads you need to share my videos so that more people can watch my videos in my ads <laughs> And then the second one, what is the challenging part about being a mom, a wife, content creator? The challenging part is that I don't, I don't always have the freedom and the time to create content. And I like how she said, what is the challenging part? Because it's, it's not bad, you know? I don't always get time to create my content because I'm either seeing, attending to my kids or every time we're in a moment, I need to like pick up my phone and just let me capture this moment. And sometimes I'm really late. Or sometimes I'm just breaking that silent, that bonding session. And I pull out my phone. It's time for me to record. And it just kills the vibes. That's the challenging part. Mm. That is the challenging part. Um, the last one. Oh, and then she says, what's the challenging part about everything and having a job? If I didn't have a job, honestly, I would maybe put out videos three times a week because I'd have that much time in my hands while my kids are at school. But yeah, it's just part of the package. I mean, I need my job. My job pays the bills. <laughs> and then she asked me which apps do I use? And then the other part, I, I don't have it. Is it a she? Yeah. Is she a she? She's a she. I use Velo to edit my videos. I use Epidemic Sound for music. I use Canva uh, for my thumbnails. What else? I think those are the three apps that I use. Epidemic Sound for music. Canva for my thumbnail. Velo for editing. Another question. How many siblings do you have and how is your relationship with them? I have three siblings between my mom and dad to, together. And then I have a lot of other siblings, my, my dad's kids. Um, I'm saying a lot because some of them I only got to find out that my dad had kids on his funeral or after he died. So I, I've lost count, to be quite honest. But yeah, I've got two sisters and one brother. Our brother is the youngest. I'm the second born at home. So I'm basically the middle child. Um, I have a good relationship with my siblings. Uh, my sisters and I are okay. We're close, but we do have like friends outside of us. Like, um, for an example, I have a best friend and some of the things that I share with my best friend, I don't always share with my sisters, if that makes sense. So we have a good relationship. We love each other to bits. We are really close, but I can't say my sisters are my best friend. I don't know if, you, if that makes sense. We have a good relationship. We love one another. We see each other. But for an example, I talk to my best friend every single day, sometimes twice a day. But maybe I talk to my sisters um, every second day or once a week. So yeah, you know, you get what I'm saying. So yeah, it's that kind of thing. But yeah, we do love each other. Let's see. Uh, this one says congratulations guys when i posted this q and I, I had reached 2400 subscribers that's why there's a lot of congratulations here and i think i'm done everyone else says congratulations you're doing great road to 2500 subscribers yeah there is nothing else we are done with this q a thank you so much to Zami. if you enjoyed this video please give it a huge thumbs up subscribe if you haven't i love you guys so so much bye 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 bye